Hi says in today's video, we are going to learn drug calculations. Tara! Are you ready? Let's go! Guys, for drug calculations, we have to remember our formula. We have desire over stock times vehicle equals the answer. Kuya, ano ba yung desire? Desire, simply lang guys, what you want. Ano yung gusto ni doctor? Ano yung order ni physician? That is the desire. Stock naman is what you have. Ano lang meron ka? Ano supply na meron ka? Diyan ngayon sa medication cabinet mo. Tapos, vehicle naman. Vehicle is, bakit ko nilagay na vehicle guys instead of, so, excuse me, instead of volume because vehicle could be a lot of things. Pwede siya volume, MLRCC, pwede rin siyang capsule, tablet, or ampule. Kaya tandaan yan, D over S times V equals the answer. Let's solve a problem guys. Okay, the problem is, the physician ordered rosavastatin 300 mi micrograms per RM AC. The available supply in your medication cabinet is rosavastatin 2 milligrams tablet scored. How many tablets will you administer in 24 hours? So yung question is tablets. Alam na natin yung vehicle natin. So before we tackle every problem guys, i-lay out muna natin yung mga pananga natin. So, kuya, ano ba yung mga panangga natin? Simple lang, guys. The formula itself. The formula and the given is our panangga. So, ilagay natin. D over S times V equals A. Desire. Ano ba yung desire? Kuya, ano ba yung physician's order? Nasa problem. 300 MCG. Kuya, ano naman yung stock? The available supply in the medication cabinet, 2 milligrams of rosavastatin. Kuya, ano yung vehicle? Tablets, because that's the question being asked. Ilang tablets ang ia administer? Okay, so andito na yung mga pananggan natin. Ano yung gagawin natin? Oops, wait lang. May nakalimutan tayo. Let's go back to the given numbers, guys. Tingnan nyo, bakit MCG tapos MG? Nakakalito, di ba? Nakakalito tong mga ganito. Bakit micrograms dito at milligrams dito? Paano natin yan? Iba yung units of measurement nila. Paano to? Okay. Let's tackle this one by one. At first, kailangan natin munang baguhin si MCG to MG para ma-divide natin sila. Tandaan guys, this is the unit of measurement. We had 1 gram. So tandaan guys, 1 gram is 1,000 milligrams. 1 milligram is 1,000 micrograms. So mas malaki si milligram. So, 1 milligram, kung i-convert mo siya sa MCG, is 1,000. Pero paano naman kung MCG to MG? Okay, simple lang guys. 1 MCG to MG is 0.001. MCG para maging 1 milligram. Okay? So, we have these units of measurement na. Let's just multiply. Diba yung sa given is 300 MCG? times 0 0.01 mcg per mg crush out mo lang yung mcg to mcg para mat matera na lang yung mg so the answer now the conversion now is 3 milligrams okay okay na balik na tayo sa equation di ba simple lang guys di ba if gaganito niyo itatakol yung drug calculations no things will be so easy for you okay you have to do it one by one. Hindi natin kailangan magmadali because pag mamadali, hindi yan importante. Ang importante, tama yung answer. So D over S times V equals the answer. Desire over stock times vehicle. And dito na kompleto na guys, no? Very complete na sila. They're all in MG. Pwede na sila ma-divide to each other. Okay. So lay out again. Lay out the possible equation. Desire. Ano ba yung desire natin? 3 mg of rosovastatin over 2 mg stock times tablet. Pag tablet, isa, isa, consider na yan isa. Diba? The answer is 1.5 tablets. Pero ang tanong, is this our final answer? Is this our final answer, guys? What do you think? Ayon. If feeling mo ito na yung tamang sagot, then you are wrong. Because balikan natin yung problem. Meron tayong na-miss na letter dito. 
C MCG per orem AC. Dalawang letra lang to, pero napaka-crucial nito sa final answer, guys. Ganitong-ganito yung mga nursing problems. So we have to be very careful in reading and analyzing our problems and situations. Kuya, ano ba yung AC? AC? Ano ba yung AC na yan? Aircon ba yan? Charot. AC, guys, stands for antisibum. And antisibo means before meals. Uulitin ko, AC is for antisebum and antisebum is before meals. Nurses, meron akong, meron akong isang e-book na ginagamit. It's called the Nursing School Bundle. And on page 7, doon mo makikita yung iba't ibang abbreviations na very common sa board exam. Kaya if you have this book or e-book, pwede mo nang i-search sa page 7. All pages yun, lahat ng mga common abbreviations. Pero pag if wala ka pa, nasa link in description guys, if you want to avail. Okay, let's do this. These are our stock times one tablet is equals to 1.5 tablets times 3. So kuya, saan ba galing yung 3 na yan? Again, balikan natin si AC. Diba si AC, antisebum before meal. So ilan ka beses ka ba kumakain? Generally, 3 times. General rule yan. Kasi ako, 2 times na ako kumakain sa isang... Anong 2 times? Shout out. 4 times ako kumakain. So 3 times, this is the standard meals, before meals. So i-multiply mo lang siya sa 1.5. You will find the final answer, which is 4 point five tablets that is our final answer so tama ba yung answer nyo guys if tama ka then ready ready ka na for the board exam now it's your turn nurses pause this video or screenshot mo tong video na to whatever you do your turn ito yung problem please comment below kung ano ang answer sa problema na to Okay, this is your turn, guys. Let's practice, practice, practice. There's no other way to be better than to practice. And that's it. Thank you so much, nurses, for taking time to learn from this video. And if gusto mo pang matuto na more videos, like subscribe to my channel and also share this video to everyone. Bye!